Yo, YouTube, what's good? I'm back. Uh, been a little while, a couple months, you know what I'm saying? Just uh, me getting some things ready in the works. Y'all see what I'm talking about pretty soon. But uh, I just want to do a quick video, um, basically, for the new waivers. Uh, I've been reading a lot, you know, uh, online and Googling certain things. And, you know, I always seen the, like, the new cats as... How can I get waves in a week? How can I get waves in a day? How can I get waves in a month? This is what I want to explain to y'all newbies. Anything worth having, it's going to take some time to get it. You know what I'm saying? There's no, I don't care what these videos tell you. I don't care who, what, what type, type of tips somebody give you about getting waves in a week, a day, a month. It take time. So just be patient. I'm not saying that to discourage you, but just no matter what. Be patient, but you're not going to get waves in a day. You're not going to get waves in a week. You might not even get waves in a month. I seriously doubt you get waves in a month that's, you know, going to last, like, you know, where you to be able to go get a cut and they still there. You know what I'm saying? So just be patient because it takes time. Even if you already got waves and you're trying to do something new, that takes time. Like right now, I'm going through my little transition. I still got 360 waves, you know what I'm saying? I'm... I'm pretty much chopped up but what I'm doing is I'm trying to trans you know transition over into like 360 slash 540 waves I'm working on my my swirl I don't know if y'all can really see that but that's what I'm working on but anytime you changing your grade of hair it's gonna take some time so to new waivers give yourself two to three months yeah two to three months because during that time first thing you're gonna need to do is get a fresh cut then you got to start using your products. Then you want to wolf. You want to make sure, like I said in my last video, you don't have to wolf. What I recommend doing, and this might not work for everybody, but what I do is when I, when I ch want to change something, I wolf to begin with for maybe a month, four weeks at the max. I go get a close cut because my waves, you know, I had my waves for years, so I can go get a cut and they still be there. So what I do is I go get a close cut start over because when your hair is short you need to start training it when it's short you know what i'm saying you can't you can't like have a fro and try to get waves from having a fro and that's why i say about people using pomades people think you can use a pomade just because you got a fro and it's gonna it's gonna lay your joints down but you're not gonna have waves because the moment you go get a cut your hair is just gonna be all spiky so let's not do that so what you want to do is you want to start off from a short cut no matter what you're doing you're trying to get waves trying to change waves trying to strengthen your pattern all that you know, on, on one end, some people say you can wolf, but what I say is, you know, you get a close cut, you start over, you start training your hair when it's short. You know what I'm saying? Whatever direction you want your waves to go in, you start training it when it's short. That way, when you get into your wolfing or when your hair gets thicker, your pattern will be set in. So then what you do is, how, like I said, what I do is, I cut my joint short, start training it when it's short, I maybe go... Like six weeks, I'll, I'll wolf or whatever, let my hair get a little thicker, and then I, I go get half cut off. I don't get a close cut. I only tell my barber to take off half. And sometimes I might not even get a shape up. I'll do that myself. Or I might just trim the fuzz down. You don't want to cut off your progress, but I just recommend getting that hair that wasn't trained in the beginning. You want to get that cut off, and then your hair, you'll, have, you'll get down to those to that length where your hair is trained and then you go from there and then you just trim and you grow and you trim you know what i'm saying so that's what i want to say for the for the new waivers you can't get waves in a week you can't get waves in a day maybe not even a month sometimes not three to four months it's going to take some time so be patient you know ask the vets out there for some help but don't pay attention to these these little cats that's doing these YouTube videos about how you can get waves in a, in a week, in a day, shampoo your hair, use pomade. Like I said before, forget all that pomade. If you got some, throw it out. It's better ways you can get waves. Like I said, people misunderstand what I'm saying about when I say get rid of pomades. Now, if you're using a natural pomade, like uh, who's that cold label, it has a wolf in pomade. That's all natural. I'm not saying don't use an all-natural product. I recommend if you're going to use a pomade, use an all-natural pomade. But like Sporting Waves and Dax and 360 Wave Curls. And it, 
stop all that. You know what I'm saying? Because all that stops up your pores and stuff like that. If you're going to use a pomade, use something natural. So, that's it for right now. Um, I'm going to do a couple more videos. I'm going to do a brushing session. Um, and then I got some other things coming up. And I'll let y'all know. So, holla at me. One.